Brian McCaffrey and the Iowa Hawkeyes men's basketball team, they just missed being ranked in the AP poll. Iowa was the first team in the receiving votes category in the latest rankings after their big win over Maryland on Friday night. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso takes a look at how the lineup changes have forced some of Iowa's role players to step up. The maturity that we showed in preparation for this game coming back is, is really, I think, what's impressive. A tough road loss, a thin bench, a ranked opponent. <laughs> Iowa had every reason to fold against Maryland. Instead, the shorthanded Hawks put their season back on track with a blowout win. The guys that come in have to be able to do what they're capable of doing and compete. And, and play mistake-free basketball. Everybody that played was, was really good. Eight players saw the floor on Friday. Cordell Pemsel says the adversity is galvanizing the healthy Hawks. We've done a good job adapting to understand, you know what, guys, this is, this is our eight, nine guys that we have, and we know what each individual can do. Ryan Creener is a good example of that adaptation. He's playing about 10 more minutes per game since the calendar flipped to 2020. He's a guy that is really, really smart. And, you know, you put him out there with, you know, with, with Connor and Luca and, and some guys that really know what they're doing, at least we can execute. A crisp offense will keep them competitive. The relentless defense and rebounding that was on display against Maryland, that will keep them in the NCAA tournament discussion into March. Playing hard and, and playing with intensity and effort, those aren't that's not a talent. That's something that, you know, that's a mental that's a mental thing, whether you can do that night in, night out. And as long as we're doing that, I feel like we have a good shot. Joe Wieskamp and Luca Garza combining for 47 of the team's 67 points in the victory. That could be the formula for the Hawkeyes' long-term offensive success, depending on the status of C.J. Frederick. He's missed the last two and a half games with a foot injury. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters.